Um, hey everybody, it's Cool Pokemon Dude here, and today I have a tutorial about using the action replay. Now, in my other videos, I show you codes for the action replay, but now I'm just gonna show you how to put in the codes and what to do. So, first of all, I have my Nintendo DS here, it has the action replay in it. See? Okay. Now I'm gonna plug it in using the action replace cord right here. And you do is you just kind of plug it in right there. Okay. So now I have my DS, and now I'm gonna turn it on. Now it's on and it says like updating. And then right there, it should uh, show the stuff that's on the action replay. I have four things on my action replay. I have let's see. I have Mario Kart DS, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, and Pokemon Platinum. So I'm gonna show you guys. That kind of stuff. So, if you look down here on the bottom right, it's this thing called My Code Lists. And it has all the codes for all the games that are currently built into this program. And then you can add more. And then what I do is I copied the games that I liked and I put them in a thing called My Cheats because I don't need all the codes because I don't play all the games. So I just have those four. And then, to put codes on, you can do it one of two ways. One way is just to go to, like, Pokemon Diamond. You right-click and go to Add New Cheat. And then a box comes up, and you put in the cheat name, and then you put in the code. That's one way to do it. And another way to do it is you... Uh, let's see. What you do is you go to your folders. No, not that. Documents, yada yada. And what I do is I save all of mine in a folder on my desktop. Where is it? Okay, I'm looking for the folder on my desktop. Okay, because I use Pokesolve a lot, and uh, I'll do some of that. Sorry, my computer is very slow. Okay, so I go to my folder, and the folder I call it NDS for Nintendo DS. That is NDS. Then I go to Pixel. Those are my codes. Well, the ones that look like XML files are my codes. So that's one way. And then another way to put codes on is you just drag them. So I have Pokemon Diamond opened, and then I click on this file, and I already put it in, so. And you drag it, Pokemon Diamond. And I'll go in a little box, then I'll come up. This. And it says Pokesolve. It says Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Pokesolve generated. And then you just rename that, whatever you want. Sorry, I'm holding it with one hand. I named it code, but I already put it in, so I really need to. So I'm just going to delete it. 
plate. Okay. And then what you do is hold on, I'll show you. Like if you updated your Pokemon Diamond, let's say, right there. This is one's Pokemon Diamond. Where my mouse is right there. What you do is you just uh click it and just drag it over here. Drag it over to the DS. And then it'll say would you like to override it? And you press yes. It's not gonna well what happens is it deletes everything for Pokemon Diamond on the DS and then it replaces it with that. So that means that you should have all of your codes from your DS on your code list. I called mine my cheats. So I have I have on hold on no. On this one I have all of these plus extras, so I'm updating it. So I click it you do what I said. It says this game already exists. Do you wish to override it? Press yes. Then look. say deleting and then writing. That means it deletes it and then it writes it again. And this should take a minute or two, depending on how many codes you have for the game. I have quite a lot. Deleting, writing. That well, takes a little bit. So anyway, when that's done, and the box closes, you click the home menu right there. But once you click it, I don't know if it's for everybody, like when you click it, it'll close, and then it goes back up. So what I do is I don't want to risk anything bad, so I click the home menu. And then I pull it out. And this is it's a game cartridge. And then that's pretty much all you do for the, for the action replay. If you have any questions, send me an email at coolpokemondude at gmail.com. And I'll uh, see you guys later.